You're on. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. Patty's Italian. Kitchen. Sammy and Patty. Sammy's here, my friend Sammy. Better known as Grammy Sammy to everybody that knows her. <laughs> Sammy and Patty Cheers. having a cocktail. I need a little drink. cocktail. <laughs> so, can you see me? Oh, yeah. Huh? Okay. So, today we're doing, um, what are we doing? Veal piccata. Veal piccata. Which is, um, like the family that I come from, it's kind of a fancy meal. We're used to spaghetti and meatballs, lasagna, but you know, veal piccata, you know, I guess veal in those days and today is, a, and is an expensive cut of meat. And we had seven kids, my grandfather lived with us, so we weren't eating veal. We were probably eating chickens that my mother had in the yard and she cut their heads off. Very traumatic for a young girl to see. <laughs> we used to chase them. After no, the after the head off. came oh, off, they would yeah. run around the yard. Absolutely. Her mother was actually an axe, axe murderer in the chicken neighborhood. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So um, this is what I beat Ed with, but sometimes I use it to cook with. So what you're going to do is take take a piece of um, plastic, wrap. plastic wrap. Thank you, Sam. And this is the veal. Actually, the Ed got this veal. It's nice and thin already. Veal's from New Jersey. It came was hit yeah, by cars. Scent. It was a roadkill in Jersey. Just you know, tuck it over here like that. Just tenderize. And all you're doing is just tenderizing the meat. And thin it. Flattening up. Yeah. That was actually came very nicely thinned, so you didn't have to it do was. much. It was. I mean, I don't even feel like I ha have to do that, but. Hey, Arlene's on there. How you doing, Arlene? Hey, Arlene. But I wanted to... Anybody else on there? Not yet. Jesus. And so, anyway, we pound them out a little bit. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep. All right, let's go over to the stove. Walk this way. You're going to work right by the beam. That's holding up the house. There you go. And so, I already... Um, Fried up some because I didn't want to like bore you guys with frying all this stuff. Uh, yeah, so, what you're going to do is take them. Kristen is on. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Arlene, Kristen. This is um, flour, uh, salt, and pepper. And I'll give you all the measurements after if you, you know, yeah, I will. 36, 24, 36. There's the measurements. <laughs> so, anyway, you're going to dredge, you're going to dredge them in. Um, help me here. In flour, salt, and pepper. Yeah. See? Here's Denise. Denise is in there now. Hi, Denise. And then we're going to fry them. And in here I have uh, extra virgin olive oil and butter. So, what I, like I said, I'm doing two of them. I already fried a whole bunch of them. Because Sam eats a lot here. Can you tell? <laughs> it's a nice cut of meat. They're nice. They're nice and thin. They don't have to be overcooked. So you got to be careful. You don't over... Do you have some heat on? Now? Is that pan? Yes. Okay, let's go. All right. So that's that. There we go. So what you're gonna do? Our previous stuff. These are all the ingredients you laid out. So we're gonna fry these nice. See, get that going. What are you whispering? I just was wondering. I already where... have uh, my uh, water going because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, angel hair pasta to put it on because yeah. you're going to make a nice sauce with uh, yeah. this. A lemon sauce. Yeah, yeah. So here's what you do fry them nice in oil and butter. Doesn't take too long because they're thin. Here's Jan Hemingway is on. Hi, Jimmy. Jan. Hi, Jan. Right, Sammy? Am I doing good? Oh, you're doing very well. Because we, I really never, we never really had this. My mom never In other words, this. they never had veal at the house. They, they, a lot of meatballs. Right? A lot we of yeah. meatballs. That's a, it's a restaurant thing you have. Yeah. I've had, I've had this a lot in the North End. Yeah. So, you know, you can, this is going to cook quick because it's, um, it's very thin. It's like chicken cutlets. Right? <laughs> That's Bardo. Sweetie. Bardo's now... Hi. Bardo. Say hi, Bardo. Bardo doesn't eat veal either. He'd like to. You got lamb chop on the floor and his little squeaky ball. Bardo's a good dog. 
<laughs> Bart is bored and he's trying to get our attention. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm not gonna like. Stand Let me see that. For Take a look. Minutes. I can hear it but now. That's, you know, that's basically what you're gonna do. And then what you do is take a paper towel. I'll put these two up here because they're not gonna. I'll have to cook them a little more. See, I did all these. Jesus, draining on a paper towel. And you're okay. gonna you're gonna cook them a little more, right? You're gonna cook them until they're a little lightly browned. And now what you're gonna do? We'll turn that flame down just a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna <laughs> take your wine. Like I said, I'm gonna give you measurements later on. This is just a white wine, and you're gonna Bardo. pour that in. William Crown says hello to Bardo. Hello, William. <laughs> William Crowns. Mm -hmm. Hi. This is so nice. Take a, um, I'm gonna throw it outside. So what I did was I put my wine in here, white wine. How much did you put in? Well, I'm gonna give a measurement. Ah, okay, all right. It, I think it was like a cup and a half. Okay, but anyway, that sounds right. Do, do, can you see in here? Yeah. Just t the wine. What the wine's going to do is going to loosen all this from the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. Look at how nice it's coming up. Deglaze the pot. Oh, that's the word. Deglaze, Deglaze. the pot. Oh, boy. Look at the sauce. Oh, it makes nice beautiful nice sauce. One. Oh, boy. It's going to taste good. All right. Let that, that. You know what? Do this for like three to five minutes. Let it cook. Same <laughs> cook. And then some of these nice other things up? are going to go in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a close up. <laughs> like oh, Betty. it smells good. Now, what else are you going to put okay. in here? What's next? Next thing is you're going to put is chicken stock. Okay. 300 chickens offered it up this yeah, week. Look. There you go. That's my mother's chickens. That there you did. go. What? And don't worry, I'm going to give you measurements right when I get off. And then you take your lemon slices. Hold on. Ed got this lemon yesterday. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Look at it. Such a good lemon. It's such a beautiful lemon. I did a 24-hour round trip to Florida Ooh, for that lemon. What'd you drop? I dropped my lemon. <laughs> look at, come on, look at what I'm it's, so excited. I, I've got it on there, Pat. All right. Put your lemon slices in. Just one second here. Now, th turn your heat up a little bit because you're gonna want this to start cooking. Like my new spoon. Ooh. Yeah. I, I have this thing about spoons and shoes. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Geez, um, that's, that's weird. Me too. <laughs> Must run in the family. So what you're going to do, I'll turn the heat up so we can get this moving here. And what you're going to do is get this boiling. This should cook with the lemons in it for about, about eight minutes. Get that, all that lemon flavor. Oh, no. What happened? It's all right. Put a tag on it. <laughs> That'll cook off. <laughs> it's a great American cook off. Come on, baby, start the boil. Denise likes your spoon. Sue Hoskins is on here. Hi, Sue. Okay, while well, we're waiting for that to boil, time for another drink. Let's have a little toast together. Meanwhile, the, meanwhile the cameraman is in limbo over here without. <laughs> I'm drinking rose or something. God bless you all. Yeah, Sue, she's got the, uh, she just showed it. So we, we. Hold on. Sue's on there. She just this last is one. the veal. That's the veal. It's pre, she pre-cooked it, and then the last got, two, she kind of showed her how she did it, but it's sautéed veal. You got to, you got to uh, dip, uh, Sue, I'll put the recipe on for you, for everybody. everybody. All right, so look, it's starting to boil. It's going to be good. Right, Sam, does it look good? Oh, it looks very good. It smells wonderful. Sammy's had it before. I've never had oh, it. Oh, I've had it a lot of times. It's good. It. You're going to love it. Oh, shall we sing? No. No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> After 52 years, I don't, I don't encourage her singing. Actually, she sings very well. Okay, so that's that. Now, there's not enough butter in here. <laughs> We're going to add more butter. You are? Absolutely. Well, that's good. <laughs> so... Come here, it's boiling. I told you not to take my body. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to get somebody to take it, but they wouldn't take it. <laughs> but Sammy here, I've been eating and eating. I gotta go on a diet next week. Well, you're fine. Oh, sure. Blame me. Look how nice. You uh, keep feeding me. 
Sue, see? <laughs> there and you you're go. You're supposed to let that boil for eight minutes, but I don't have that kind of That's time. close enough. That's close enough. Close enough. So yeah. now after that, you're going to add, we don't have enough butter. Like you got to put more butter. We're adding more butter. So this is going to make your uh, make your sauce when you serve the dish. Richer. Makes it richer. Okay. Okay. Let that go down a little bit. Then you're going to take capers. Well, more than that. Now, if you don't like capers, you don't have to. You can't add too many capers. That's that's Never. that's our, yeah, that's plenty of capers for that amount. Because she's got a what a cup and a half of, of chicken broth in there. I have more capers in the fridge. No, this is good. You, I'd but put them all in. Put them on, lady. Yeah. They, they make the, all, they lady. make the flavor. All right. All they are is little berries of vinegar. That's all the capers. Look at it. Take a look. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Parsley. Let that boil. See how nice it's boiling? Because what's going to happen? Is you bring it up to a nice boil. It's gonna, make, it's gonna get thicker. You know the flour that's on the veal is gonna thicken your sauce. Thicker. And then lemon juice. More lemon. Mm -hmm. juice. So I don't know if you can do that with chops. With chops, you gotta watch it because they they have to what cook kind a little of longer. Chops? What like veal chops or what? pork well, chops? Well, not chops. Chops would be too thick. Could, she would it, have to get thin chops. <laughs> Get a thin well, you chop. You could do it with chop. You could do it with chop. I mean, I don't know why not. Yeah. You yeah. could make the same sauce and serve yeah. it with anything, and really. Turn, put it on uh, spaghetti, sure. I think, try it. You don't like veal soup? Pork. Yeah, pork chops. You know what else you could use? You can use pork. You, you buy a boneless pork loin, slice chicken. it thin, and cook it quick. Okay, so everybody, that that's going to cook for about eight minutes. And then what you're gonna do, I gotta cook them really fast so I think it's it's gonna be good. What you're gonna do now is take the veal. Hi, Cheryl. Fry. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> take the veal that you fry and put it in the sauce. There you go. So this is, I'm gonna move nice a little slower. Nice. I'm gonna make everybody seasick. Niza, Niza. Like I say. It does look good. Sorry, my phone is busy. No, I'm not gonna answer. Okay, Ed, get a show of. So now I put the veal back in, the veal that I fried. I dipped it in flour, salt, and pepper. I fried it in oil and butter. I don't even know if the measurements for that matter because no. you just you dip it in flour, you fry it in oil, and and then here you go, guys. That's it. And the flour have salt and pepper in it or anything, or just flour? All the spaghetti. Crust. Was there salt and pepper in it, or just yes, flour? Yes, salt and pepper. You forgot some pepper. I'm gonna refry them. Oh. And they'll cook in they'll there. cook in here. Yeah, there we go. I knew that. So listen, guys. Um, Told you we we're assisting. While yes. this is cooking, while this is cooking, go ahead and boil up your water for your spaghetti, and like. A, I said earlier, I do I do angel hair. That's what I serve with the piccata. Sure. And that's it. Over the piccata. Over the piccata. Over it, yeah. There you go. Yeah, and I would, I would suggest you finish the spaghetti off in the pan that you take the meat out of and all that sauce in there. Let it finish off in the sauce. It'd be delicious. The spaghetti. Yeah. Cook it what in a pot. Do, what you want to do, though, with this, you want, you want to let it... Can they see me? Oh, I can't after you. I move, <laughs> as soon as I move the camera. What you, you want to cook this so it gets a little thick because remember you got flour on the right. veal and that's going to thicken up your sauce. And you got, and you got so to stir it. the longer it. you cook it, the thicker your, your sauce is going to get. Patsy and Ruben from Los Cabos. Hey, congratulations. Get out of here. Happy anniversary, guys, and welcome to the party. Hi. <laughs> wow, you guys. So we've got people from Los Cabos. We've got Kansas, Missouri. Uh, <laughs> where else we got? Uh, Cheryl's in Florida, right? I think Cheryl's in Cheryl's Florida. In Florida. Oh, look, Ed. Come here. It's getting thicker. See I'm, how nice? I'm getting thick of this. <laughs> That's down. nice. Look at that. I'm gonna turn, now I'm going to turn it down because what you're going to do is just let it simmer. All right? Just let it go. Let it simmer. When you serve it, serve it with your pasta. 
put some lemon over your uh, plate, Den and Den later I'll plate it and I'll take a picture of Denise it. Denise is in Ohio. I forgot about Ohio. That's, uh, is that Columbus, Denise? Is that yeah. right? There we go. All right. I don't know. That's about it. You got to cook your pasta? No, not. That'll take too long. All right, guys. Bardo's got, look, Bardo's got his little... Bardo, low say hi. What is that thing called? Hey, hi, That's, he's got his lamb Miami. chop. That's lamb chop. He loves lamb chop. Okay, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for everybody tuning in. Oh, Dayton. Oh, you're Dayton. Dayton yeah. I never forget. Columbus, <laughs> Dayton, uh, Newark. No, where we are. All right, there's everybody. Take, take care, guys. God bless. Make some chicken Come on, take everybody. a drink. Drink to everybody's health. Enjoy. Enjoy. Drink their health. Cheers. There you go. Hey, to everybody's Cheers. health. Wish we could all see you in the same place, but one of these days... Manja. Hey, take care. Manja. Bye-bye. <laughs> you finish it.